All right, my first opening statement is that I have to say happy birthday to my five-year-old daughter, VC, because I forgot to say it on TV tonight. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, um, wild game, intense, uh, competitive. Uh, I'm sure it was entertaining for the people watching, but uh, it was it was uh, it was intense. It was uh, I'm just proud of the guys, happy for um, you know what they've been putting in this year, how hard they're working, uh, able to pull out one at uh, you know tough place to play. Pete, obviously. About a year ago this weekend, you know, very different feelings. What what is it like to kind of have that measuring stick for how far you guys have been able to come and improve, and just the emotion of being able to, to get this one? Sure, and, and it's a fair comparison, and I'm, I don't I don't want to um, you know say that it's not, but uh, I don't want really any of that measuring stick to to involve us right now. I just want us to to focus on the 2023 Jays and. Um, you know, appreciate our, our experience together. I think if there's any relevance to that, it's that um, I, I really feel like all those guys are, are still with us tonight. And I think that was, you know, a really hard day. It was a tough day to be a Blue Jay. And, and I felt, you know, for all the guys that, that were experiencing that with us, and I, I just hope that they all can appreciate and, and be a part of this one with us tonight because it was a, it was a program win. It wasn't just this game. Right over here. Uh, Jacob, you're wearing the Big Ten Championship shirt. What did it mean to get that done? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously very special, and um, it's a great feeling um, beating your rivals and, uh, you know, winning a regular season title. But, you know, there's so much more ahead for us. I mean, um, we'll probably end up seeing those guys again, and we know that. Um, but, you know, it, it's a good feeling, and we'll enjoy it now, and um, we'll enjoy it by week. But, you know, there, there's so much ahead for us, and, and, you know, that's what we're looking forward to, not just not just tonight. But um, it's, a, it's a good feeling. Uh, congratulations on the win. Since there's not a defenseman up here, I'll ask the coach. Multiple times tonight, you your defense separated the stick from the man. Not only the ball, the the stick. Uh, can you talk about the physicality? And was that a was that a goal, or is that just something that happened during the game? I mean, we're trying to get our stick to their hands and and affect their you know their ability to make passes mm -hmm. and, and and shoot and things like that. So um, you know, it, it, I think it happens from time to time. I don't know if. Uh, I would say we're not trying to do it, but uh, it's it's uh, it's more a product of I think you know fundamental defense and, and playing hard. And, you know, it was a you know hotly contested game. I, I know that they were playing hard. They did some you know some pretty great things as well. But uh, um, you know, sometimes those can be big plays. Tim, Tim, just uh, piggybacking off uh, Jacob's answer after the handshake line, you come over, dog and dog over and uh, celebrate with your fans. Describe that feeling and what's going through your head uh, throughout the game. Um, just a lot of gratitude. Um, I know me and my senior class and everyone on the team, even this coaching staff, we've been through a lot of hard times with whether it's COVID, whether it's the season, whether it's a lot of different things. Um, I, I mean, I I love having fans. I, I, I can't I can't describe the feeling of being able to play in front of people. And the fact that that was taken away from us for the last two years, um, I just really, really am grateful for every opportunity we get. Um, saw my brother, my best friend, so it was, it was easy to run over there and give him a big hug. The, the fourth quarter defensively for you guys, both, both ends really kind of locked down, but in particular for you guys, what, what kind of flipped for you guys at the defensive end? And uh, just in, in general, what would you kind of take? What's your takeaway from a game that was that tight? Um, I think I think our defense did a great job of, of staying composed in that fourth quarter, and we were extremely aggressive all night. And I think in the first three quarters we were may have ran a little past where we needed to. Um, I think in that fourth quarter we really just dialed in, became ball hawks. They were moving together. They were forcing them to move the ball rather than allowing them just to beat us. Um, slides were on time. They were in people's hands. There was good ball pressure. Um, picked up some really great ground balls. A couple good stops in transition. And I mean I think they held them to. Shot on that, so made my job easy. It was it was great. There was a lot of uh, midfielder to offense transition, a lot of pace to the play. Uh, is that something that you guys look for? And you really took advantage of Maryland's defense when that happened with some uh, maybe easier goals. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that just happens naturally throughout throughout the game. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with Maryland's defense. I think that's kind of how we always play. We are, we're always looking for. Any sort of transition, but um, you know, today we're, we're uh, lucky enough to, to find those those chances, and we were able to capitalize on them. And um, you know, sometimes that's how the game goes. And um, 
you know, that's what we work on all week in practice, and we continue to just hard make it through. We have numbers like push push the pace, and you know, that's something that paid off for us tonight. So yeah. Um, not no, not too much. I mean, you know, obviously you remember that, but you know, it, it's a different season. It's a different team. You know, we're a new team, they're a new team, and it's just a completely different game. Um, you know, I mean, you always remember it, but it wasn't brought up too much. You know, we're just trying to focus on this team and what we can accomplish. I mean, we're we're in a different we're in a different part of the season now, and you know, we're, we're in a different part than where we were last year. So, you know, that, that was kind of just what we focused on, and I think we did a great job of that. Jay, can you take us through Russell's final goal, the just the backhander and solo effort there? <laughs> I mean, I honestly wasn't really looking until the end, but uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's he's phenomenal. He can do stuff like that whenever he wants, and you know, it's just it's just something he can do. And when the fourth quarter hits, I think he always steps up big, and you know, he, he was able to make a great play there. And you know, we're, we're very thankful to have him on our team this year. And, He's, he's very fun to play with. Um, I love Ross, and I know all our guys do. So, yeah. Jacob, uh, how fulfilled? I know it's not done, but how fulfilling has this season been for you? you guys? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been great so far. It's definitely um, different than what, what I've been used to and my senior class has been used to. Uh, but, you know, it's just great to find our identity finally and kind of play off that and, and feel like we have we have a team that's playing hard for each other and not, and not just – for themselves, and, and I think that's the biggest thing going into this year is we need to find our identity, and I think we've done a great job of that. Um, obviously, it's, it's not over yet, and we have many more goals we want to accomplish. But um, you know, so far, it's been great, and um, we're very excited for the future. Uh, this is more of a like not gonna be less serious question, but just about the rivalry trophy. Is there only actually one tr trophy that gets like passed? Okay, I just didn't know they make it be one like. Every year, okay. So I guess then, how special is is it to have it if it gets passed around? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah. I guess um, for the players, it's very special. It gets uh, it gets placed back in our uh, in our in our building, our lacrosse center, and uh, in front of the guys to walk past every day all year long. And uh, um, it's been missing for a couple of years, and we're happy to have it home. Right, two more. Oh, we'll start back here. Oh, this could go for Coach and Jacob, but. Turnovers, missed shots in the first half. Come out in the, in the third quarter, you have six goals. What kind of halftime adjustments did you guys make? Um, you know, I, I really don't think it was that complicated. I think it was just we needed to play harder. Uh, I think we were a little timid at first, and you know, I mean, some guys, you know, it's a big game that some guys haven't really seen a lot of time in, and um, you know, I think we just need to take a deep breath and, and settle in. I think we did a great job of that. We scored, I think, six goals in the third, and that was huge for us. Um, Sometimes that's what happens in, in these big games, but um, yeah, I think we did a great job just resetting and, and going back to our to our basics and our offense. So yeah. Last one right here. You talked earlier about how you guys are starting to find your identity as a team. What is that identity? Uh, you know, it's really just playing hard together. It's not it's not really any me ball. It's not any um, any uh, hero ball. Our co uh, coach Melvin says all the time we have the best role players in the country and. You know, we, we don't take that for granted, and um, you know, we, we just play play to our play to our strengths, and that's something we work on all week and all, all year and in the fall. And um, you know, I think that's what, what we found ourselves as a team. So, yeah.